What up, peeps? Mr. Crone back at you, and it's day four of 31 days of Halloween. And what I watched tonight was another uncorked entertainment movie called Bad Apples. And boy, am I glad I ran into this. I found this from watching the movie uh, I watched it last night on Tubi, and then it says, You may also like. And there was bad apples. I read the description. It's set on Halloween. And it's pretty much a low version, a low end version of Strangers. As these two psychotic sisters, psychotic teenagers. And this has a brutal beginning. Um, it comes on with this lady pregnant. She's setting up her baby bed, getting things ready. And this uh, guy shows up in her house, stabs the shit out of her pregnant stomach, and as she's sliding down against the cabinet, dying, then he slices his throat, and then it comes on. And it comes on with these two crazy ass girls in a trailer park, getting dressed and ready to go out for Halloween, while they go to school. And the teachers keep telling them to take their masks off, and they won't. And then they get sent to the principal's office, and the principal tries to make them take their masks off. Tells them to, and they don't. So And then he gets up and goes over to them and tries to take one off. And they bash his head in with something, oh, a still coffee cup he has. Just bash his freaking brains in. Something uh, I wasn't expecting. And then they leave the school and go on about their way. They go back home. Put on their costumes and see they kill I think just one of their neighbors a little warm up for them they kill a lady that lives in their trailer park and they get on their bikes and go off to this little cul-de-sac suburban neighborhood and just start picking off everyone in all the houses <laughs> And it's just surrounding about this new uh, couple that just moved to this neighborhood. A blonde lady who's a teacher who was supposed to start teaching at their school. And the husband is a nurse. So you get to meet them and stuff and spend some time with them in their house until he goes to work. And then once he goes to work is when those girls show up in that neighborhood. They kill a local pervert that's a con convicted uh, sex offender. They kill an old lady. I think there was one other person. And then they hit her house. And torture the living shit out of her. The husband goes back to try to, uh, to check on her because that uh, sex offender who lives across the street from him shows up at the hospital. So he figures there must be something... Something must be going on. And he shows up and the wife was unconscious. So she couldn't warn him. They sneak him. And when she comes back to consciousness, she finds her husband sitting there with his friggin' chest carved open like a jack-o'-lantern. Big triangle eyes and the whole mouth and everything with a little lit candle inside the stomach pretty wicked this is a pretty wicked awesome little movie there's about i think uh, about 10 more minutes left after everything i just said i'll just shut up there i would highly recommend this movie it was quite the little gem i found and that is what i watched Peace.